I've decided that I am going to Australia. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm starting the vlog looking a little bit interesting, but um, it's Saturday the 29th of June. Um, I'm actually going to a wedding this evening, a wedding evening do. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm kind of just like wasting a few hours. I've been to the gym. I gave my friend a lift to the train station because she's going to Bristol for the day for her sister's birthday. Um, and yeah, I've kind of just got, I've got about, what time is it now? It's three o'clock. I've got about maybe an hour and a half until I need to start getting myself ready um, and have a shower. So, wow, I've been meaning to have a sort out for a while. So, well, my mum, was it? I think it was like last week. So my mum's been like very, basically my mum was like, um, she was going to sort the loft out and basically our loft is, was in need of a very good sort out. Um, our loft has got, has stuff in it from like, years like over the last literally 20 plus years um so that was my sister and her boyfriend's job over the summer i don't think they've actually finished it but i think they've done anyway they've got some bit down they've got my stuff down which i basically a lot of this stuff i i'm, I'm keeping this stuff but i need to go through it and actually well i started i've just started going through it that's why i thought i'd pick my phone up and have it make an, another little vlog i've not even edited the one the last one i don't even know when what i need to edit but anyway so i'm gonna go through this stuff and i've started going through it first of all i've just had to put the washing machine on because basically stanley my cat has been in this room for quite for like the last week and he's he hasn't done it for a long long time or i don't think he has um but he has a habit of like weeing basically he's on like some basically some medicine for um i don't know what it's called the medicine's like um thyro norms i think it's to do with like his like it's to do with his weight and stuff anyway that's boring but basically he went through a stage like or maybe like a year ago where he was constantly like weighing on like the beds and everything and it was honestly it was a nightmare um but yeah i just realized that he weed on a bag of jumpers so i popped those in the wash everything out luckily i think i'm pretty sure everything else um is okay um it hasn't been touched so that's good but i've already gone through a couple of things basically what i need to do i need to buy boxes um i think i need to buy boxes and if not boxes i need to get vacuum bags because this is the issue like i want to get my mum wants me to get boxes so that everything's obviously a lot more organized and it can be like labeled of what it is which makes sense but also because it's like this is my winter stuff like obviously in the summer i'll switch it over and have the jumpers down and then the summer stuff will go back in the loft um which is what i normally do but obviously this is all jumpers so jumpers just take up a lot more room so i'm a bit like is it pointless getting boxes for jumpers because are they gonna like am i gonna not get many jumpers in a box i don't know unless unless like i say i get vacuum bags to like yeah so, so far i've got like a bag here of jumpers it's got like jumpers and a few like a couple of like pinafores in that i wear to work but i don't really wear them in the summer i tend to wear them more in the winter with like a crew neck top under um it's just literally just the end of the bottom bit of my coat there and a blanket and another bag of jumpers here which i've gone through and i want to keep all those jumpers um i try to be a bit savage but like they are good quality some of them are good quality so i don't want to just like get rid of them but um i've also got a bag of here of um knit like cardigans that are from tiktok shop this bag isn't mine and this bag is not mine either so i need to say to my mum my mum's actually away so when she's home tomorrow i need to be like those are not mine um and then i've got basically i've got fluffy bedding and fluffy pajamas which um i need to put in a bag but for now but they're gonna have to again go in like a box or a vacuum bag and then i've got a bag here which has got like crew neck tops in it um and all my long sleeve tops so like it doesn't look very organized but like i kind of know what's what but i just need to be like now that i know what i'm keeping i need to go through and like buy boxes to put the box them in um i've also got a pile of stuff on the floor down here which is the stuff that i've decided that i'm going to take to the charity shop because there's like a couple of pairs of sandals which i haven't worn in a long time 
and a couple of other jumpers that I've tried to just like clear a few things out if I've not worn them in a long time. But I've just got some bags that I'm gonna reorganize some bits in. But also I've got this bag here. Actually, I'm not gonna show you what's inside this this um this bag because there's one thing in here that is very inappropriate that was from a Hindu maybe like five years ago. But I've got a couple of little bits. Like it's basically like a bottom drawer bag. Like, except for a couple of things in here that are just random things that I didn't know where to put. Um, I've got cookie cutters and I've got like bowls. I've got a cheese grater thing. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of things that are like bottom drawer things, but I don't really know what to do with those. This is also would be the, good, the kind of stuff, that thing that I need, you know, like, like bags like this that are, yeah. So I don't know where I should get those instead of boxes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get on with that now. So I'm going to stop chatting and then, yeah, I'm going to chill for a bit and then I'm going to have a shower and get ready. I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to do a face mask actually in a bit as well. I need to put up my eyebrows as well before I shower. So I'm going to do this, maybe do that, have a bit of like a prep and then have a shower and get ready for the wedding tonight. So I'm going to show you later on, not if I remember, because I always say this, but I forget. Um, I'll hopefully show you my outfit before I go. I've got a really cute dress that I'm looking forward to wear. I actually like tried it on last night and I'm actually like set on it so I'm hopefully hopefully I won't have a hissy fit and I won't decide that I changed my mind um but yeah I'll show you that when I'm ready hey guys happy Sunday um I'm gonna my window up so that you don't hear too much car noise um, my wipers. my wipers do that every time I turn my engine on. Um, I don't know why they do it. Um, but anyway, they do that. I didn't think they're supposed to do that. My hair's looking really crazy because I washed it and I couldn't find my hair curler to curl the front bit. So we're just kind of going with the 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 fresh puffy look. Um. I've just been to Home Bargains. I I'm also going to go do my food shop in a second as well. Well. I say food shop, but I'm, I feel like it's not only really a big food shop this week because first of all, I can't bring myself to it, but also I can't bring myself to meal prep this week. Like, I'm so hungover. Like I spent all morning, I spent all morning, um, basically I wasn't feeling too great this morning. I wasn't too well. Um, so I finally, after like, actually like, after slumping around for a long time and being like and feeling sorry for myself i had a shower washed my hair but even after that i didn't feel great um but then yeah i was just like i'm just I, and i managed to eat a bit of toast um which is what i've managed to eat today like when i'm hungover it's really weird like i'm better now than i ever used to be but like i just cannot eat like properly and like especially when i'm this hungover like i think i'm this hungover because i well I, I say I mix, but and I did mix, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like I mix shockingly. Like I had a couple of Aperol spritzes at the beginning and then I, well, I had a, I had a, actually I had two gins before I left. Um, so I was drinking gin, Aperol spritz for two, and then went back to gin because I brought my little hit flask, naughty. Um, and then I, I had, um, did I have another cocktail? I did have a porn star martini as well. But I was looking back at my bank transfer, my bank transactions, and it seemed a lot more than what I remembered. But anyway, um, I had a couple of shots too, but I didn't buy the shots. Um, I think one, a girl bought me, I got I got a tequila shot bought, shot bought for me. But also I was like, I requested a song. I requested Sabrina Carpenter, um, please, please, please. And it was really funny because my, I, I was like, I requested it and my two friends, Chloe and Anne, they looked at me as would be like, really? Like that song, really? And I'm obsessed with Sabrina Carpenter at the moment. Like I basically have made her my whole personality. Um, and I loved it because I asked for it. He played the, ne the next song and um, The Bride. Um, she literally was straight up on the stage and so I was dancing with her and we're, uh, the videos for that, like we're literally just like vibing. Um, 
and I love it um so that was so much fun but yeah the wedding was lovely um and it was just so nice and I saw a couple of people that I've not seen in a long time um because my, my friend M that got married is a, a friend from when I worked at the pub years ago um so it was just so lovely to like we I saw so many people that I hadn't seen in ages I saw this one girl who's lovely who's been traveling Australia for like two years and without saying too much I I'm taking inspo from that so I was like, tell me what you know. Um, but yeah, I'm quickly, very quickly gonna show you what's in this bag because I realized I actually wanted to empty this bag out so that I can use it for Aldi. So I'm very quickly gonna go sh show you what I got from Home Bargains. Um, some bits are actually, well, no, it's not for all food shopping, but I got a couple of like snacky bits from my, from my food shop. I got some more of these like cushion shoe, um, what are they called? Cushioning like for your shoes because I've got a pair of vans that I only wear them when I do pub shifts, and but they're so worn from me wearing them previously at the pub um, that they literally are so worn in. Um, so I got some of these to put in those vans for the next time I work at the pub. I got some cotton wool buds. I got some deodorant. Most of it's just like necessities that I just needed. I got this little like foot scrub thing because I bought like this hard, this other hard thing a, a few weeks back, and I have used it once, but I don't know. I think that's what I need because it's got this is like a four in one. It's got like. The vial it's got like that and like a what's this called a stone thingy i don't know um i've got myself a charging cable i could keep charging cable um because my cable's not very well it's my it does work but it doesn't look very safe um i got myself some snacks for work i also got i got some bathroom foam pink stuff bathroom foam cleanser because i've run out of the stuff that i like for that got a bath bomb i got some of these little scenty things for the bathroom because our little clay always stinks because of the cats um i got some shampoo and i just got some protein yogurts from home bargains but they're normally cheaper in there so i thought instead of getting them at aldi i'm gonna get them there so i got two of the chocolate ones and um, mousse ones i don't normally get those but like i say they're cheaper in home bargains they're 85p whereas like in other shops like supermarkets they're like one pound 20. um and these so these i've never seen these I've, well, I've seen these pouches before obviously but i've never seen these flavors these are a chocolate caramel and a salted caramel um protein pouches so i was like i need to try those and then i just got two of the fruity ones um as well and I um, got myself two little face masks. I'm going to do a face mask tonight, even though I did one yesterday, but I absolutely need it. I've got myself a little sponge because mine's just getting really gross. I got a vanilla syrup. My coffees. Oh, I got another pouch as well. Um, and some eye patches because, again, I need that today. And then I've got some sugar free mango um, drink. Oh, wasn't my phone literally just fell off the thing. Um, yeah, I got some sugar free. Uh, no, I normally get them from Aldi, but I had a sugar-free mango when I had an Indian a couple of months ago, and I quite liked it. Um, so I thought I'd get myself those because I love one. I like to take them to work because they're great, um, especially when I'm having like time out to write my, my reports. It's really great to like. I love having like a little cold drink, especially when it's been sunny recently. I mean, it's not supposed to be that hot this week, but um, yeah. Um, so I got those, and I also got these which i'm really quickly going to eat before i go to the aldi because like i feel like i need something to eat because all i've had like i said all i've had is a piece of toast that's not really enough so i'm gonna have some clicking bites there's something in me and then get some food shopping and i'll see you later guys guys i've just realized that when that actually when that fell like it's completely broken like it's actually snapped i mean this has literally been falling off for like however long i have i was thinking i need to buy one but now i definitely need to buy one because I should have bought one home bargains. I probably could have got one of them at home bargains, but I'm not going back in that in for that. I'll have to. I can get one on Amazon. To be fair. Anyway, food shop. Food shop is done. I have yeah, I've got everything I need. Um, and it was actually like five pound under what I usually spend, which was really good. Um, I was literally looking at my grey hairs in the mirror. They're shocking. Um, just popped. I've also just popped to. I was. I've been to Aldi, Home Bargains, Aldi, and then I just popped to Asda because I had some. Well, I had some clothes, um, some clothes to drop off at the clothes bank, and I also wanted to look um in Asda for. I really like their range. Um, well, it's not their range. It's a range called Tiger Moon. They do in 
Asda, really affordable skincare and I really like it. Um, so I need to stock up on their products. I didn't have one of the products I wanted though. I like, I, there's a vitamin C like serum that I use like in the morning, but I didn't have that. Um, and they always have, normally pretty much always have a deal on. Um, it's like two for six pounds. So normally they're four pounds. So you save like two pounds um by doing that so that's good so i just got two for now i got the nighttime serum that i needed and i got a nighttime retinol um cream i normally get the collagen night cream but i thought i'd change it up why not and then i also i just got a nivea day cream i normally use the tiger moon um vitamin c day cream um but it's only got spf 20 in and i feel like that's fine most of the time and i'm like i'm not i'm not burning or anything but i just feel like when it's warm I feel like I need like something with a bit of a higher SPF in. So this has got a, this is a day cream from Nivea and it's um, got SPF 30 in it. So yeah, I got those and now I'm heading home. I'm gonna go home. Oh, I just need like, I need like a Pepsi Max. Well, my fake Pepsi Max that I bought from Aldi. Well, I need that. And I need some, I've got some chicken dippers in the freezer. So I'm gonna have chicken dippers with a bit of ketchup. I need a bit of fuel now. I feel like I can actually eat now. Like, I'm not starving, but you know you need, like, I'm hungry, but I'm like, I need food. Um, so yeah, go home. Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, I, I didn't show you, did I, my outfit? I don't think I did. I'll put a picture in of my outfit, if I remember, on Saturday at the wedding. Um, I spent Sunday severely hungover. I really wasn't great. It wasn't a great day for me yesterday. Um, but I'm going to say hi to the vlog. Um... I've just got back from work. It's about nearly quarter to six. I had a couple of parcels this evening. So I I mean, I wasn't planning to come home, but I decided to come home quickly, um, get changed before the gym. So that's what I've done. And my parcel's here. So I just, I can't not open this like right now. I can't wait an hour or two, well, two hours. So yeah, this is, so I ordered some stuff on, from Clean on Friday and some of it's already come which is literally in like three days, less than that really. Um, so that's really amazing over the weekend. So, but yeah, it's only one parcel, but hopefully later on in the week, the rest of it will come. So let's just get it out. So these are a bit mainly like bits for my holiday. Um, so what have I got here? Three things. So first of all, we've got this is a little co-ord. Now I'm looking at the colour, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, oh, well, this is the medium, did I? Okay, so it's a little co-ord. I mean, with a towel, I mean, I do actually have a bit of towel at the moment. Um, it's like a little beige skirt, and then you can, like, ruch the side up. So I think it's really going to have to be one of those things that I see what it looks like when I actually try it on. And then the top, so this is, like, the top. Um, so it's like an off, well, not, not off shoulder, one shoulder style, and then you roof that bit up to make like a little like circle bit. And it's that obviously fashion, that style at the moment, the trend like with the kind of that style top. Um, so yeah, it looked really nice in the model. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I feel like I need to just see what it looks like on, you know, if I can compa compare, because looking at it like that, it just doesn't look that great. But anyway, then we ordered, this is a dress, I believe. Um, yeah, mostly this is for my holiday, but I'm also kind of thinking ahead that, say, if I go travelling in the future, um, these are things that, you know, will obviously I'll wear again, which I'm, I would anyway, but do you know what I mean? Like, I want them to, like, yeah, this, these are good iron, but this is just a little dress. I love a little brown, brown, I love brown. Um, and yeah, this is just, I think I ordered this in a large. I don't know, it doesn't say the size, actually. Um, oh, here it is. Yeah, I got this in a large. And yeah, it's just got like little spaghetti straps. I just thought that would be good for my holiday. Just a simple kind of throw on. Needs a very good iron though. And the final thing that's come in the first package, most of it's in the in the other one, is a pair. Oh no, no, I, I, yeah. So, oh. okay. So this is a skirt. The pattern's not. I mean, it, I did order it in leopard print, but I thought it was gonna be. Um, I thought the leopard print was slightly different to this. Actually, no, I mean, it's probably just the way it looked from far away. So it's just a, um, a midi slit skirt. The waist looks quite big, but then they always do, I feel like, things like this. And then when they have them on, they actually look okay. Um, this is a large as well. Um, so yeah, just a little mini skirt. 
Um, I was thinking for work, but also holiday as well. Um, but yeah, most of the stuff are coming in um, the, the rest of the parcel. I've ordered a lot of like, accessories and like jewellery. Um, but I also ordered from Amazon. So I've been, like I said, in on Saturday when I was having a sort out. So I ended up buying, I looked in home bargains yesterday, but it didn't have anything I wanted. But I bought like laundry bags, kind of like, do you know like when you like, if you, I mean, not that I ever go to a laundrette. Oh, lovely, there's a hair in there. Lush, love that. Um, you know, if you go to like a laundrette, you've got like the big like laundrette plastic like bags. So I ordered this, the packet from Amazon, a pack of five for £10, something, which I thought was quite good. So that's the way I'm going to store like my jumpers and things that I showed you on Saturday, just because I thought boxes, because I didn't think it would really hold as much stuff. Whereas I thought this, they're, they're, quite, they're, they're extra large as well. I can't remember what like, the measurement size, but oh, 60 times 60 centimetres, well, however big that is. But yeah, I'm over the week, I'm going to start organising my stuff into those bags, so I'll let you know then. But yeah, I might, I'm really tempted just to try on those two things quickly now. But um, if I do, I'll probably just put a cutaway clip in. Um, and I'll show you the rest of the haul later on in the week. And that's probably, I've just got coffee. I'm going to do a leg day. I'll catch up with you later on the week when I have anything exciting to tell you. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, I have, it's just gone 11 on Saturday. I don't even know how long, long this vlog's been going on for now. Anyway, um, I... I've just been out with a dog and I've just had some breakfast and I'm making, just drinking myself a little, I, drinking myself? What, that does not make sense. I'm drinking, what I meant was I'm drinking a nice coffee that I've just made myself. I'm not drinking myself. Um, lovely, love that. Um, yeah, I thought I'd come on and have a little chat because I feel like in the week I briefly mentioned something, I don't know what I even, what I even mentioned now. I don't know. But basically there was something that I couldn't mention. Like... Or I wasn't, not that I couldn't mention, but I was deciding not to mention for reasons. Um, but now I feel like I probably can talk about it because things have kind of a bit more in air. Um, so basically, I've decided that I am going to Australia. Um, at the end of this year, I'm thinking about November time um, and I'm going to apply for a working holiday visa. I'm actually going to do that in the next like month maximum I think I want to get that done so that I know that like once I have the visa like I'm going do you know what I mean like wow I've got a visa granted then I'll be like I then I can then I can book flights um yeah I'm thinking like November time um I think that's like the best time for Australia summer and I'm going to my plan is to travel the east coast for a month six weeks six weeks six to eight weeks and then I am going to well i'm planning to work and live live somewhere either sydney or melbourne i'm not quite decided yet i kind of need to work out obviously there's a lot to work out obviously with doing this there is a lot to work out it's a big jump a big step but like, i'm basically like moving to australia um or at least for a year so i don't and i don't really i'm not really going with like a plan like well i am going with a plan but i'm not going with like a huge plan like i'm not like I'm booking a one-way flight basically like I haven't got a return flight I'm going I'm traveling for a few months maximum and then I'm gonna work save some more money I'm either gonna I'm thinking either I'll work hopefully work as an au pair because now things with the UK and the Australia government basically that there, there's like if you haven't seen I, I mean I've seen it everywhere but that's probably because my feed is full of like Australia stuff um the the basically the regulations have changed um so that basically it means that uk citizens now can get three working holiday three year three year work, working holiday visas without having to prove any regional work so normally before before you'd have to do a year you could do a year without any work or you know you'd have to do a year i think and then you'd have to prove that you've done the the 88 days of regional work to get the second visa and so on I think but obviously now you don't have to do that so you basically just can like have a working holiday pay for your working holiday visa for a year and then when it's coming to an end I don't know the exact rules for that but like you can apply for your second one and so on for the third one um <clears throat> so yeah that's my exciting news um yeah I want to book a visa in the next month and then get the, the ball rolling with um like flights and 
working out. I need to also work out whether I'm going to do a group tour. I've been looking into a couple of group tours, whether I'm going to do a group tour or whether I'm going to do it solo, completely solo. I'm probably going to do a group tour because I was, I basically joined a load of group chats and a lot of people that I've spoke to seem to be doing group tours and seems to be one person either said she priced it up and it wasn't, like the price wasn't that much more to do a group tour or something. Um, so yeah, the reason why I wasn't saying it earlier on was because I hadn't told like my job. Um, I haven't had, handed my notice in yet, but I've basically on Thursday, I told my, my, my boss at my head teacher and my manager because it was just eat, like, it, it sounds silly, but it was just eating me up. Like I've been talking about it. I've been getting very excited about it. And then basically on Thursday, I was I was planning to tell them and then I realised that my manager was leaving at 10.30 in the morning and basically my head teacher the day before had asked me if I was interested in doing something basically, um, some sort of like, it was like a PE opportunity basically to kind of assist with like PE um, stuff and I was like, normally I'd be like, that's like an a opportunity that I would love to do, like that would be right up my street because she came to me and was like, oh I know you're sporty, like would you like to do this and I was like... I like, you can think about it and I was like yeah no I will think about it but in my head I'm thinking if I'm not going to be here long term like I don't want to be committing to that do you know what I mean um so yeah that's what got me thinking even more like I don't want to so that kind of was like a good opportunity for me to be like this is why I don't want this is why I'm not I'm not jumping at this opportunity because this is my long-term goal. So that's basically what I said. I just told them my long-term goals and actually they were really help. They were really like understanding and they were like, I think they knew, they know that I'm a proper into travel. Um, they knew that I want to travel. So for them, I don't think it was a shock. They weren't like, oh my God. Um, but yeah, I just pre-warned them just because I don't wouldn't want to hand my notice in four weeks before and be like, I'm leaving and it'd be a complete shock. Um, so now they know that what my plans are and when I have my notes in, it won't be a shock. So that's what I've done. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited, but I'm gonna stop yapping now because I need to, I just need to drink the rest of my coffee and I'm gonna pop out and see my friend. And I don't really have a lot planned today. I'm kind of just like, I might, cause I'm at my dad's house with Dylan. Um, he's literally down the bottom, the middle of the sofa as you can't see him. Um, I'm planning on, I don't really have a lot planned at all. I should be going for a run today. Oh, the weather the last couple of days has just been miserable. Like, I don't want to go for a run this weather. Um, it's actually raining now. No, I'm not going for a run. But um, luckily I took the dog out before. But yeah, I may pop back to my house and do a little bit of sorting and organising. Because I want to just like, I've slowly been like sorting through stuff from like the loft, which I've now done. But I also got other things in my wardrobe that I want to sort through. See if there's anything that gone vintage. Um, make some extra money back, you know. So yeah, all the money little all the money helps, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna stop yapping and I'll talk to you at some point later on in the vlog. Hey guys, I'm just jumping on to end this vlog because I've basically just realised how long this vlog is getting. Um and I'm back at my house now after staying at my dad's for a few nights. Um and I yeah, I wanna start another vlog in a minute because I've got my part two clean haul. I would have put it in this one, but yeah, it's just getting too long, so I'm gonna start a new vlog. Um so yeah, make sure you'll subscribe down below if you're not already and ready for that vlog because there'll be another clean haul coming and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye guys, bye.